What's up, guys? So today I'm going to answer a question I've been getting a lot lately, which is how do I beat Emma Frost and the Marauders in Alliance War? And in my opinion, there's really one very good, clear answer. So let's check it out. So first, we're going to take a look at some Alliance War footage that was recorded by my Alliance mate. So shout out to Fushekis. Thank you very much for recording this footage for me. I have a recording of my own from the same war coming up in just a bit, but uh, this particular footage is a smaller punch up and it involves a small misplay, so I wanted to show you this first before I show you what this team can do. But uh, in my opinion, the clear counter team for the M Frost Marauders is the X Force. So you can see here they're about to take on a 60k punch up, and uh, yeah, let's check it out. Of course, you open up with the Negasonic Ultimate, which is gonna do two things. It is going to remove all of their defense ups immediately, which is of course super useful. And then it's gonna heal block everyone, which is really, really good because this team has a ton of sustain and healing. Then immediately Domino is able to go before Strife and hit him with a Disrupt, which again is really important because otherwise he will try to uh, taunt. Then you go ahead and ability block Emma Frost because otherwise she's going to remove all of the debuffs. And there was the small misplay. It's not a huge deal, but he uh, attacked Emma Frost with Deadpool. So he does use the cable special to remove the taunt that Strike did have. And now he's gonna use the X-23 ultimate, which is perfect. It does kill Sabretooth and it cripples Emma. However, if he had used the Deadpool ultimate on Sinister, which you'll see in the next clip, uh, Sinister would have taken more damage and then Sinister would have been the priority for that damage, but instead Sinister is able to clone and then he gets hit by a Negasonic ultimate of his own, but that's okay because Sabretooth is already down. So uh, also Mr. Sinister was heal blocked. Emma Frost just went down. Sinister has taken a ton of damage. So uh, fortunately this is still able to be cleaned up and a 60K punch up on this team is not too shabby. So there's the unavoidable cable ult. Uh, some justice when uh, Cable gets to attack Strife. That ability block, Deadpool is not going to care. Um, and now he is focusing Sinister, which is what you want to do. So Sinister does remove the heal blocks, which kind of stalls out the fight a bit, gives everyone evade. So unfortunately, uh, this fight is going longer than it needed to because Sinister still has some decent health. But again, he is now going after Sinister like he should. And Negasonic does tons of damage. So that's a wrap. Sinister is off the board, and now it's just a matter of cleaning up the clone Negasonic, the Strife, and the Mystique. So, all in all, not too shabby. Uh, using that Cable Basic when he wasn't charged gives him a ton of speed bar back, which is really nice. Negasonic still has offense up. Um, if that's not a, a, a bugged uh, buff, that may not be correct, but either way, still doing plenty of damage. Uh, Deadpool finally going after the Negasonic clone. And then it's just going to be Mystique. And as you can probably guess, Mystique is not going to be able to 5v1 here. So uh, yeah, this was a, a nice clean win. And I'm proud of my alliance mate. Uh, he crushed it. So we'll watch the final X-23 ultimate go down here. But uh, the reason that I wanted to show you this footage first is because uh, that's what it looks like when you don't play it absolutely perfect. It's still very reliable on a 60k punch up. If you are going to play it perfect, you can do this. So this is my attack on a 537k Marauders, and this is in security. So I'm using X-Force and they are all going to have defense down on spawn. And uh, it's almost 100k punch up. It's like a 90 something K punch up. So pretty significant. And again, with the defense down, so in security and generally speaking, doing almost 100k punch up in security is a very dangerous prospect. but. X-Force is just so good into Emma Frost and the Marauders that, well, you'll see. So it's going to be the same thing. Going to open up with the Negasonic Ultimate. It's going to remove the defense ups, except for Mystique who had Evade. It's going to heal block a bunch of them. Same Disrupt on Strife, which basically keeps him from uh, being annoying. He does use a special. Same ability block on Emma Frost, but you'll see here, now gonna make sure that Deadpool is going after Mr. Sinister. And because Mr. Sinister is the lowest, now uh, you can use the cable special to remove the taunt from Strife. Not that it would stop X-23. She is now gonna go after Sinister. So, Sinister going down right away, followed by Sabretooth, and with Sinister off the board, no clone, nothing to remove the heal block. It's just easy street. I mean, this match is literally already over. So 
I have to go with the basic there, not to waste the special because Mystique would evade and Emma had no buffs, which prompts another taunt from Strife. I uh, used the Deadpool special to chop Emma quite a bit there. But yeah, you know, the fact that it's uh, 3v5 and Sinister never even got a turn, um, it's, it's a pretty clean win. So X23 does uh, get blinded and take some damage there, but then she gets some evades. So there's the ability of block, sorry, the ability blocks from Strife. There's the ultimate from Cable, which takes Emma Frost out. And then, uh, of course, X-23 has to miss because she's blind, but that's fine. Deadpool and Domino have her covered. There's an assist from Cable. And uh, X-23 takes out Strife. And then it's a 5v1 against Mystique, just like last time. And uh, yeah, as you may have guessed, Mystique still not able to 5v1. So that's a wrap. Very quick fight not even close no one was in real danger the closest was domino and it's not too bad if domino dies that late into the match but again we're talking almost 100k punch up in security it's just a very one-sided fight so yeah there you have it not one but two examples of x-force just absolutely destroying emma frost and the marauders it's not even a close fight and uh in the past, people would use their X-Force primarily on the mercenary teams, but now that we have Baron Zemo, who can do his own 100k punch-ups on those mercenary teams, X-Force are kind of free to be used against Emma Frost and the Marauders, and it is incredibly effective. So, I did want to share that with you guys, because I've been getting this question a lot, so that is how I'm dealing with these teams. But, I think this video has gone on long enough, so thank you guys very much for checking it out, and I will see you guys real soon. Until then. Peace! <laughs>